Hey, we're here to do another video. We've gotten a lot of requests for this one too. Uh, bottom line is, if you own a septic system, especially where we live in Texas, we have a lot of aerobic systems, you're gonna be familiar with one of these suckers right here. This is an air pump. And one day you may come out and that little red light and that alarm's gonna be glaring and you're gonna be wondering what's gonna go going on and you're gonna to wanna to call the septic company to come out and charge you a boatload of cash to basically fix a $30 part. I'm going to show you uh, how to rebuild one of these today with one of these kits that you can get off of Amazon for about 30 bucks and probably about 10 or 15 minutes of your time and you can fix it. I keep one of these as a backup because these things last maybe a year or two and they always seem to blow the diaphragms. And I'll show you how to, uh, to fix it. Just to show you this one isn't running right now. That's what triggers your alarm. There's a little air bleed hose here. That goes to a pressure switch in your septic system. And once that senses there's no air, it starts throwing your alarm. And your aerobic system needs air to maintain proper operation. It needs to keep those bugs alive. So, this is how you do it. First thing, take off the filter cover. Okay. Typically, I've already been through this one, so uh, it's clean, basically. But... Make sure you clean all this stuff. This is where your airflow comes in. You're going to want to get rid of that. Then you're going to want to open up the housing. Again, check it. Make sure there's no debris in there. And fire ants love to get into these things. Remove this insulating sock here. This is a sound sock. All right, this is what we're after, these two right here. You get your rebuild kit that you've ordered from Amazon or wherever you got one. You wanna get it out. Okay. So then what I do is I disconnect the tubes, twist them out of the way. There's four bolts here. Like I said, I've already been in this one, so or four screws, remove those. Now you may be tempted to keep parts of this. Don't, everything here is disposable but the screws. All this goes in the trash. And here's, here's the part that fails, this diaphragm. Okay, I think this is a seven millimeter nut. It may be a different size nut on your machine. I believe they're all about seven millimeter. What system is this? Clearstream? Seems right. Well, that, we have a clear stream, but this pump's used on a lot of different things. Okay. So, and the pumps, it's the same pump that they have. This is a high-low, um, high-blow, sorry, pump, but you'll see this same pump with a bunch of different manufacturing stickers. Okay. If it looks like this, generally the rebuild process is effectively the same. And even if you... You can find uber amount of rebuild videos on YouTube and on the internet. This is just to try to save you a little bit of money. Like I said. So the only thing you're saving are the screws. Yeah, but even then, most of the kits come with new screws. I'm just saving them just just in case. Okay. So. Because if they don't, you wanna don't wanna dig through the trash. Bingo. <laughs> okay. So this is the reciprocating part, slides back and forth. Now, one thing I want you to pay attention to, up here is a switch. Once this fails, this switch basically turned the pump off. So you wanna reset it, okay? This is one type of switch. There's another type of switch that takes one of these little fusible links. It breaks this and shuts the pump off so it doesn't burn the motor out. The effect is the same. You need to reset this switch or you re need to reset this switch in order to get your pump working again. Okay, so this one's reset. Let's go ahead with the rebuild. Okay, it comes in two parts, like I said. You really can't screw this up. There's a notch here, a notch there. You can't physically get these to fit together. If it's not going together right, you're probably not doing it right. But you match up these notches. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. No, you don't. Step one <laughs> is how I like to do it. Match 
this air intake with this over here. And then what I like to do is, this makes it a little bit easier in terms of reaching it. And push it in. Can you pause it for a sec? But, sorry, there you go. All right. And then, like I said, there's that notch and there's the tab for it. This gets a bit of a pain in the patookas, but. Now, I do my pattern, tightening these things up in a X pattern, but you do as you see fit. Connect the air supply tube. Now, this kit, the one reason I like this kit is it comes with everything. Literally, you can toss everything and start afresh. But, um, you know, that's me. You buy the kit that you want. does it typically cost if you have your septic person take care of this i've seen people pay as much as 800 dollars, 300 for the pump and uh 500 for labor 500 for install yeah so i mean what nicole and i do here at the cottage is i keep an extra pump on hand and i just rebuild it every time the pump fails i take my rebuilt pump i drop it in um we have that we have that ability to do that here. Uh, doesn't take a whole lot to store a little box with a rebuild kit in it for thirty bucks, you know. You can file this one under proper septic maintenance. And before I button it up, I give it a little performance check. That's effectively a rebuilt pump. And like I said, you, come here. You have to reset this switch, this little micro switch here. So now it's, there's, let's see if you can see that. The arrow. There's a there's a notch there. Oh, I see it. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. and there's a notch here, and there's also a notch there. This has to be in the middle. So you'll, in you'll, the middle to reset it. To reset it. Now okay. it's reset. So let's see if it works now. So we know it works. These clamps, you can use these hose clamps if you want. Um, I just like these clamps, but make sure you kind of turn them in so you can get the sock back on. This is a very tight fit for the sock. Just take your time. I'm kind of rushing because my wife's making me uh, put a time limit on my yakking. All right, put that back on, make sure that's on right. I just want to let you know that you told me it would take you 15 to 20 minutes and you're at nine minutes and 17 seconds. Well, I've rebuilt a <laughs> bunch of these. So. It should give people confidence that it wasn't complicated and that Don't they forget do your it. new, this thing will come with a new air filter. Don't forget that. Okay. Filter. Don't forget to, you can take these gaskets off, check them, make sure they're in good shape. If not, go ahead and replace them. I put the rebuilt date. I also put the date I install it. And uh, that is it. You just saved yourself bunch of cash and do I get the extra money that's left over 
you always get the money that's left over. <laughs> just kidding so that's it that'll go in that box it'll go back on our shelf and uh whenever we have a air pump failure like i said we'll just drop this sucker in and we'll be ready to go um where is this located at with regard to a septic system it varies by the system and who installed it. Ours just happens to be next to our house. That's this area. Right, so it's not inside have, the system, right? That's This is one type of air pump. There's another rotary type of air pump that's far more reliable than this one and lasts forever. Um, if I had one, I'd show it to you. This just happens to be the one we have. And um, they, like I said, we get about two years out of these diaphragms and they usually fail. Uh, so that's why we keep uh, that rebuild kit I had here. Well, I just used it for this one. We keep either keep a rebuild kit or a rebuilt pump handy just to swap them out. Right. And Dentos. what would you say the difficulty level is for the average person to do this job? I would put like this, a scale of one to five, five being hard and one being easy. I'd put this as at a, I would put rebuilding the pump at a two. If you're comfortable with electrical work, because you have to get into your electrical box uh, or your control box for your pump, and you do have to throw the breaker, make sure that it's electrically isolated and safe to disconnect it. Okay, that's another video. We'll do right. that some other time. We're just going over rebuilding the pump. And if you've got an eight millimeter socket and a Phillips head screwdriver, it's all you need to rebuild this. So, and 10 minutes of time. And this is what that old filter looks like, by the way, just to show you how gunky they can get. But that's it.